Hey Mac users, a uh, little uh, quick tip on how to uh, make a virtual size monitor. If you have a 2018 Retina MacBook Pro, that's what I'm using. But I think any any Mac uh, should be able to support this. Um, so uh, how do we do it? First of all, what do I mean by virtual monitor? So Mac OS 8 virtual monitor. Some of you may remember this. I certainly do. It's none of these things. Basically, it allows you to have a huge virtual monitor. So how can we have a huge virtual monitor? So we might look for huge virtual monitor. So I don't want spaces. Um, I want to have like one big monitor um, expand your screen space with a virtual desktop. That, that sounds like what I'm looking for. And we used to have that, and um, okay. So what we need for this is this program on the Mac called EasyRes. So it used to be a paid tool, but now it's free, which is great. If we can spell EasyRes right, and this is what we want: this little handy tool. So you need that. You need to download it and you need to open it. So I've got that open here. And that's where you can change your resolutions. I'll show you that in a second. Now the other thing you need to do is in your system preferences, in accessibility here, you got to turn your zoom on. Okay, so I've got mine control, zoom style, full screen. I think I'm advanced. I've got mine to when the pointer reaches the edge, and I've got this smooth and follow keyboard focus. So you can adjust it when you see what I'm doing. And control, so you can hold the control key down and then move your fingers, or you can use the zoom in and out. So we're set up. So I'm not sure how uh, Loom is gonna handle recording this, but what you do is you change the resolution in here, and then you zoom in, because normally it would just your screen would get really small. So then you zoom in to make it bigger. So that's the trick, right? Make a big world, it gets small on your laptop, and then you use the zoom feature to make it look like normal. So I've already used this size before. I'm gonna pick that. And let's see if like zoom, I mean loom can handle it. So now it's like super tiny, I can barely see anything. So Loom couldn't handle it. It stopped recording, but this is obviously after the switch. And then what we do is we use um, the accessibility feature to zoom in because this is like crazy small. So I use the control key and then I can use my finger. And you probably don't notice anything, but this is obviously I'm scrolling through the whole window for me. It's quite slow because it's huge. So I can zoom out, zoom in and then zoom out. All right, you probably didn't notice that, but I can use the plus, the control option plus to zoom in, make my cursor big, and then make my cursor small. And you probably can't see any of this in Loom because it's recording the whole screen, but you know, obviously when I zoom in, and then I make a new window, say in Chrome, you make a new Chrome window, this is a perfectly normal screen size. For me but if I zoom out it's only like what is that a quarter of the screen which is perfect and then like this this is a perfectly normal screen size for me and yet the the fonts are a little chunky like I can see they're a little pixely but you know honestly you know it's good enough and I can like scroll around and have the big screen so like I like so there you go. Quick hack, I don't like spaces. Do not like spaces. I'd much rather scroll around like this.